If you're a lucky user of the hotel booking plugin, I'm sure you've heard about its checkout fields add-on. And we know that many of you already use this add-on to customize the checkout experiences by adding more fields and collecting more necessary data from your guests. My name is Valerie. Welcome to the Motopress YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we'll cover the new field type we've added to the Hotel Booking Checkout Fields add-on version 1.0.5. The new field type is called File Upload. It allows you to enable customers to add media files, such as ID photos, on the checkout page along with other details right before submitting their reservation. Before getting into this video, give it a thumbs up if you like our content, make sure you are subscribed and have your bell notifications on so you know when our videos go live. So, first check the hotel booking plugin version you use on your site. The add-on will work perfectly with version 4.3 or greater. In this video, check it out please, we've discussed why you should consider updating your WordPress plugins on a regular basis and shared ways to complete this process. Hope this video will be useful for you. To add a new field with the file upload option, log into your dashboard and navigate to Bookings, Checkout fields. After this, click the Add New button. The first thing we should add here is a field label. The name of it users will see on the front end. Then comes a system name field. It must be unique. Pay attention, only Latin lowercase letters, numbers, hyphens, and underscores are allowed. From the drop down, select the type. By the way, the system name and field type are the only two parameters that can be modified. For the rest of the field upload parameters, you are free to customize its description, add custom CSS, specify file types allowed for uploading, and set restrictions for the upload size. Also, you can mark this field as required or optional. Required fields are compulsory for submission. Enabled fields are displayed in the form and disabled are hidden. Once you've configured all preferences, push create for a new field to appear at checkout. Moreover, you are free to reorder the fields by dragging and dropping them. Now I'm going to make a reservation on the site. And look what we've got. The uploaded field has appeared. I'm going to click Browse and choose the needed file. And here we go. Note that for each file you need to add an individual file upload field. That is, it's impossible to add more than one file at one time. Remember, one attachment per upload. If you need more, add a separate field for each file. Now we can complete the booking. If a booking contains uploaded files, you can use them by going to the chosen reservation and find a custom information section. Click View File. 
By clicking on this button, you can open the file in a new browser tab. When adding a booking from the admin dashboard, you can manually upload files too. But keep in mind that in the current add-in version, you can do that only when creating a fresh booking, not adding existing ones. Also, this field always remains optional for manually added bookings. If you delete a booking, its uploaded files will be deleted too. Also, when viewing bookings in a calendar, you won't see checkout fields there. And I want to remind you that you can use the information collected through your custom checkout fields in an email template. So you would need to copy and paste the needed email tag into the needed email template. Last but not least, all custom fields are by default added as optional values for your CSV reports. If you need to export information collected to your custom fields, go to Reports, Export and click on the Select Columns to Export. Select or unselect the needed columns and then generate CSV. That's pretty much it for today. No doubt the new upload field will make it easier for your guests to send you all the necessary documents. Maybe this exact feature will make you consider purchasing this extension. And remember, the Hotel Booking Checkout Fields add-on is free for all Motopress Club members. If you already had a chance to test out and implement the upload field on your site, let us know what you think about it and share your feedback with us by writing your comments in the comments section of this video or on the product page on motopress.com. It was great having you here. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I'll be seeing you in the next one.